We've come to the end of class, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to name this song so that the next time you come back to this iPad, you'll be ready to go. You've created all your tracks that you want, so what you're going to do is you're going to tap the upper left-hand corner that looks like a page with its end turned down. When you tap that, you then see in this screen. If you're on this screen, you're in the perfect place. What you're going to do is rename your song. Instead of my song, you're going to put your name in it. So if you tap on it, on the words my song, it shouldn't take you here. It should take you to here. The keyboard appears, and what you're going to do is you're going to type in your name and teacher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type Miss C, and let's say I'm in Miss Webb's class. So I'm going to say Miss C and Webb. Once I've done that, I'm good to go. The next time you come into class, you'll see this ready to go for you to edit it again if that's what we're going to be doing. I hope you had lots of fun on GarageBand today. There are so many things that you can do, and it's really fun to play and uh, just try some different things on it. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.